Hi, I'm Brandon, and today I'm so excited to show you how I use EQ to fake a muted brass sound. So as we go into our DAW, you'll notice that I have two instruments. Uh, I have a trumpet and a French horn, and they are both Junky XL Brass. And I love Junky XL Brass, I think it sounds fantastic, but as you can see, among all of the articulations, there's no mute. That's frustrating because as a composer and as someone who's trying to do all sorts of different sounds and be creative, it can feel really frustrating to be limited by the sounds in your libraries, right? So what I do is I use EQ to fake a mute sound. Now it's not perfect. And one of the main reasons that it's not perfect is the EQ sits at the exact um, place that you set it at. So as you change notes, it's going to be a little bit different. But for our, for our purposes, you know, it works well enough. It gives it that um, the, the sound that you need. And if you think about it, when you stick a mute in a in a horn, whether it's a trumpet or or another instrument, what is what is that mute doing other than changing the acoustics of the instrument changing the sound it's it's just eq really so um let's let me show you the trumpet and i've got it on key switches right now and actually i've set these little pads up to my key switches so as you can see um this is going to move when i hit these right so really a little helpful thing Really nice trumpet sound. You can got some, you know, chordal sustains. Now, when you see this, you're probably thinking, oh man, that's like a lot of changes. That looks like something crazy. It's like a monster with teeth. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can make the same sort of sound using a simple EQ with maybe four bands. Uh, it's, it's not difficult. So let me show you the sound. That's without, and here's with the uh, Harmon mute. Pretty good. Uh, I think very passable. Let me show you like a, a section. So, I don't know about you guys, but that just thrills me to the core, that you can throw on an EQ and fake a mute sound. I think it's fantastic. So let me show you, if you don't have Pro-Q, um, and you don't have all these, you know, these presets, which I, I found online, by the way, this is not my preset. Um, but I'll, sh I'll, I'll run through them and I'll show you how to make sense of something big like this. So I just opened a ReQ and ReQ comes with Reaper and it's really simple. It starts with four bands. You can add more, right? You can add band and remove bands. But I just looked at the basic shape of this thing and caught where the frequencies were. So that's like 1300 and I just made a drop at 1300, right? for about 22 dB. And so you can see 1300 to 22 dB. And I just made sure that the bandwidth, this thing looked about right. Um, like it's cutting off near like 500, which this one was doing, right? 500. And so I just looked at the basic shapes. There's a little drop in the low end, a huge drop in this middle area, and then some two peaks. And that's what I made. So let me a, uh, ABC them for you, I suppose. Normal, fab filter, and here's this with the re-EQ with four bands. Pretty nice, really simple thing, really easy to make.
I'm quite pleased with that. I think it's a really simple thing you can throw on. You can make that in 30 seconds, right? You could just throw on an EQ, do some quick changes, and there you go, you have a mute. So let me show you the French horns. I pulled up Holst, I pulled up Mars, right? Here's the horn part. Now, I, you have to transpose it because this is the score, so I, I put it up a fifth, and, it, and this little plus symbol um, is a stop mute, so that's where you stick your horn, or you, you stick your hand inside the horn bell and like crunch it up inside, and then you have to play a little bit louder than you might expect um, to make it sound loud enough. But So it generally sounds really kind of brassy and almost distorted, um, but I'll just show you that that chord ends up being a um, when you transpose it a um, C sharp, right? So that's without that's that's uh, that's the normal. So when you use the stop mute, what I did is I made sure that the output level was lower and then I turn up my um, dynamics volume because I want it to hit really hard and be that brassy sound. Again, quite pleased. I think that sounds really great. And let me just show you that example. I think that sounds really good myself. So how do you fake this? Now I haven't made this yet because I thought I'd show you guys uh, real time how I would take a curve like this and put it in a simple EQ that everyone has access to, right? So I take a look at this, and actually, why don't I just pull this out? See both at the same time. So I see five bands I can make this out of. You know, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna add one, and then I'm just gonna bring that over here. And I'm gonna look at where these are, 25. Change this to a um, band. How far did it go? 30 dB, wow, okay. All right, and then it was done at like 200, so there we go. And then let's make this one, something like that at around 700. Or five, 500. Yeah, that'll, that'll be great. This one goes a little bit lower, a little bit... Um, minus nine. And then we got a big boost at 5K. And that's going to be a band as well. 40B. Something like that with a little bit more of a... Okay. And then the last one is a drop at like 1500. Um, and I'm just going to make that one a... Low pass. But more like that. Okay. So, um, as you can see, maybe it took me a minute or two to go in and kind of just mess with that. And granted, I'm not doing with this with my ears right now. If I was doing it with my ears, it might take a little longer to sculpt the sound. Luckily enough, I found these um, presets and I will show them to you at the end of this video. So let's try this. We've got... All that reminds me, last thing to do is we want to overall drop the gain 
All right, what do I do in this one? Minus 14 dB. Let's just copy out like that. So here's with the fab filter. And here's with the re-EQ. Actually, I think I'm gonna make this one a little over. There we go. Now granted, I don't think it's as good as a fab filter. Um, there's just more variables. Uh, but overall, from this to this, is a passable stop meter, I think. Uh, and then the, the fab filter preset just makes it even better, even better. So I hope that you find this EQ muting as exciting uh, as I do. And now I'm gonna cycle through some of the presets that I found online. You might be able to find them if you do a Google search, but they're not mine, so I don't wanna post them. Uh, but I will show a screenshot of each one that I found. So, um, let's just start with trumpets. We'll go from top to bottom. And you can pause it and you can try and make your own. So there's trumpets bucket, trumpets cup, trumpets harmon, and trumpets straight. Okay? And then let's just go down the line. So we'll go to French horns. Uh, just two on the horns, there's the brass stop, and then straight mute, and then trombone, we've got the cup, harmon, harmon and stem, I'm not exactly sure what that is to be honest, the bucket, and straight, okay, and then Lastly, we'll go to a tuba, and there's one tuba, and it's a, a straight mute for the tuba. So there you go. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and that you can use it in your composition, and thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time.